Welcome to A Day in the Life as I take you along with me to the Black Applied Behavior Analyst Conference. Good morning. We are getting ready for our road trip. I am packed and ready to go. And I will be wearing my scarf because it's what's raining outside. Got to protect the hair. But I will be taking it off eventually. So don't judge me, Monique. Although the Baba Conference was virtual this year, we decided to drive up to Detroit anyway because my friend and mentor, Dr. Serencioli Ulizi, was giving the keynote speech. So we decided to have Cheers. a road trip and it was the best decision we ever made. Many of us have been working together through various organizations over the last year, virtually. But All this is many of our first times ever meeting. Oh my God. <laughs> and this is Baba. This is amazing. So when you get a group of black women together, black scientists, this is what you get. This is amazing. Gifts. Oh, Nasia, look at that. Oh. Can you let me know what resonates with you? Next, I got to open my swag bag. All of the participants of the Baba Conference were sent swag bags for participating, but everything that was in this bag was just so awesome. And most of the vendors were black owned. So I really, really enjoyed the swag bag. I hope you got yours. And loved and supported. And oh my gosh, just imagine a Nasiya with this level of support. 20 years ago, with people now, like I never, if I was going to do a presentation by myself, imagine having a cohort of people that I could present with. I, and I mean, go have fun with. I know. <laughs> Next, Adrian Bradley, the president of BABA, is also a native of Detroit, and she showed us around her beautiful, beautiful city. Yes. Um, Hi, ladies. Detroit has such beautiful murals throughout the entire city, and they turn alleys into bars. There are literally bars everywhere. I loved it. It's day two and it's time to get up and get ready for the Baba Conference. We are staying at an Airbnb. I got my very own room. I love my room and I'm enjoying my vacation so far. So one thing we did a lot of is cooking together. We shared new recipes with each other. And Danielle, oh my gosh, she hooked it up in the kitchen. She took care of us so well. I didn't realize how easy it is to bond with other women when you cook and you feel the air like it's freezing in the bathroom. It's fantastic. And now it's time for the conference. Like I said, it was virtual. So we watched some of it virtually online. And others of it we were able to see firsthand because the keynote speaker was with us. I see things and hear things very deeply. And for those who are in my inner circle, they can tell you what that experience of me is like. Okay, and then, and I want to thank whoever it was 
who added another piece of my identity. They tapped it yesterday. They said, uh, Dr. Daniel Beal and I, they termed us ABA aunties. I accept it. Thank you that you will hear about that. I am the ABA auntie. Yes. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Another one of my favorite experiences from the conference was the yoga session that was led by Melody, who is a black yoga instructor who is also a BCBA that lives in Abu Dhabi, and she is so freaking awesome and amazing. Just love her. And shout out to Denisha Jingles for bringing down the house with her workshop for day three. It was mind blowing. So, um, I do want to make mention to the healing component that comes with Women for Everybody Black. Although the Women for Everybody Black Although it was virtual this year, I love the experience of sitting around and learning about our science with other black women. And we even got a chance to shoot an episode of our podcast, Two Black Unicorns. So we worked hard, but we played even harder. We went roller skating in downtown Detroit and I had the time of my life. Hey, we even rode bikes. And we just got to see the beautiful, beautiful city of Detroit and enjoy our blackness. That's all. Bye.